This is Jennifer's garden. Um, it's actually the place where she was murdered. But we started a garden out here a couple months after she died for a couple of reasons. One was that um, she had told me right before she died that she wanted to help things grow. And I wanted some place to put my hands in the dirt and to nurture it because when your child is murdered, it's like all of that energy and love and um, care just it drops off like a cliff and it was a good good thing for me too I spent many nights out here by myself all night long and it was rough so um, on Mother's Day I planted the first plant out here to me this is Jennifer's garden that's that's it I rarely think about the fact that she died here over the years, we've had so many different visitors. There are all kinds of teenagers and adults that know what happened, but never met Jennifer, and they come here. The neighborhood around here, they help us take care of it. One couple, they have a little girl, and she calls this her fairy garden, and Jennifer would just Love that so much. We bring empty, empty notes, blank notes, and people write everything here. Over the years, I take them home and I have all of them, like 17 years worth of notes to Jennifer and to us. It's really special. Jen was the love of my life, you know. She was um, everything. I put everything into her. I come here for peace, I come to talk to her, I come here on special milestones, just um, her birthday and the anniversary of her death. So it's just been really healing to change the space to something beautiful. Imperfect, but beautiful. It really shocked me that she knew she was in an abusive relationship. I didn't think she knew that at all until after she died and I read this journal. This is Friday the 21st. I've not been writing because there's so much on my mind that is overwhelming. I've been left alone with my thoughts. I hate it. I could go insane. I will go insane. I just wish I had a street jacket in a padded room so I could go temporarily insane. And no one would have to know. I'm not one to let people know my crap, dealing with that crap. I've been starting to question if I really love him or not. I'm in an abusive relationship emotionally. I just realized he can't do this anymore. Yeah, reading through this journal was heartbreaking. I mean, I knew, I knew it was bad. And I knew that she didn't think that she was worth being with someone who loved and respected her for her. I look back at these and I think, I think that she did know and I think that she suffered so much. When she was first killed, I mean, I could not imagine removing more of her from this earth than had already been removed. 
And on occasion, I would come in here and just lay down and just look up at the ceiling and, you know, be surrounded by, by her, by uh, her presence, but, you know, by, th by things that had meaning to her, her aesthetic and who she was, at least up until the point um, that she died is, um, is reflected in here. And I, I value that. And um, I like that there's an, an enough in here that I can be surprised or reminded of, of things that had, I had maybe either forgotten or possibly just didn't know. Because it was her room. So, um, I could just talk nonstop about everything in here, but I will say, when I was a kid, this was my favorite stuffed animal. It's Floppy Dog. And Jen really liked Floppy Dog. So we've got Floppy Dog here. This was from White Sands, New Mexico. Jen was the, I guess they call it Flower Girl. Yeah, she's wearing a pearl necklace that I've got in the box over there that I was gonna give to her when she was old enough. When she was four and a half, she said, Dad, um, will you just promise me that when we go to heaven, you'll be there to hold my hand? Of course, I said yes. And um, that, is, uh, that is something that's obviously uh, has, has been on my mind since she was killed, knowing that I'm not there. You know, we don't have a word for previous parents. You know, we have widows, widowers, orphans. We don't have, I was a parent and I am no longer. I can't think of a better thing to do with it than allow it to remain as she left it. 